Well, take a look at that. The sun is actually trying to stay out. It's been cloudy and rainy here all week as we just crossed that bridge from West St. Paul into closer to the downtown St. Paul area. Get a look at some of the views from up here. There's some old railroad tracks down there and then a little highway, some housing, and St. Paul is right down in that area over there. Kind of like the view from up here. Well, hello there, and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure here in St. Paul, Minnesota. We are at High Bridge Park, and we are about to check out a very large green chair. You may have seen it in my opening theme to Tommy Travels, but you've never seen an adventure for that chair on this channel. That's because I used to have a second channel called Tommy Travels The Second, and I've been here a couple of times on that channel, but never on this one. So with everything being shut down, we have to come up with creative things to do, and this park is open. And so this should be a really fun adventure to take a look and see what's going on. Thank you guys so much for coming in here today. Uh, welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. Come on with me, you guys. Let's go see what there is to see. So this is towards the back end of the little park where they've got little picnic benches to sit down and hang out. Little patio, that's where we were just standing. It's a nice little area to just hang out on a sunny day. They've got a little path to walk around here, sit down on the little ledge, eat a little lunch if you so desire. There's the green chair, there's a rock sculpture. Just a pretty little area, right by a busy road, but still a pretty little area to, to just hang out for a few minutes if you so desire. Well, I'm always a fan of art and sculpture and nature, formations, things like that, and this is a combination of all of those things that I just mentioned. I really like this. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be or if it's supposed to be anything, but it's not only rock, the nature part of it, but also it's wrapped in this metal bar stuff. And this must have taken a long time to put together because that's a lot of metal bending, <laughs> a lot of tying things up into knots over here. When you go up close, you really can't tell what it is at all, but when you, <laughs> when you go back a little ways, get a wider view it looks like it might be some sort of an animal or I don't know it's abstract it might be nothing at all <laughs> but it looks like kind of the head of an animal up there that's my theory what's yours leave it in the comments below and here's the evidence that spring hasn't totally sprung yet <laughs> this little garden area back here isn't exactly blooming with life right now but it looks like this plant, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like it might be starting to try to try to bloom out a little bit. Maybe a little bit, but it's not there yet. Maybe I'll come back here in summer and see what this is actually supposed to look like in full, full blast summer mode. And that's what I love about this place. They've got all sorts of little fun spots to just kind of hang out and enjoy nature. I really do need to come here in summer. I've never been here in summer and seen how this is supposed to look in full bloom. But uh, I've got these little gates that you can come through. Lots of little leaves on the ground and wood chips. They've got their own little miniature Stonehenge you can sit amongst while contemplating life and events. <laughs> right now is a good time to do that. 
So some people might be wondering, with all of the stuff going on these days, am I still going to keep my channel going? I am on a little bit of a break from live streaming, just because, well, I wasn't feeling very well myself there for a while. I lost my voice. I don't think I had the, the big thing that's going on right now, but uh, I did have a pretty bad cold there, so I had to rest my voice and then I had to figure out what to do for an adventure and finally it came to me this is a nice night let's go here and get this adventure now I have to do some editing and so it gets out by Saturday uh, the state is not shut down in any way yet except for major restaurants and that the um, they're only open for drive through um, we're not in any, any kind of stay-at-home order yet, although we will be on one of those effective tomorrow. So it might be a little bit more challenge, challenging to do adventures, but I'm still going to go out and do what I can. I'm going to find creative ways to keep my channel going. I've never missed a Saturday since I've started Tommy Travels two years ago, and I'm not going to start now. I'm not going to let COVID win. <laughs> and so uh, that's what the plan is. We're just going to kind of uh, keep rolling as much as we can. Some of the adventures might be a little on the different side than what you're used to. Uh, maybe I'll even have to do an adventure in my own apartment. <laughs> hey guys, look at my stove. <laughs> maybe that'll be fun. I don't know, but there's going to still be an adventure every single Saturday. That I promise you. And look at all those stones grouped closely together over there behind the gates. And then there's this guy over here. <laughs> he knows all about the social distancing thing and he's very good at it. Well done, Stone. Well done. And there are the grounds that we have been checking out up until this point where we have run in to the main event. The large green chair. And it is indeed a large green chair. And it is indeed a very nice photo op for many families and mothers and fathers and kids to take pictures and climb all over. Look at this thing. It's right inside of the sandbox here and I managed to get, get a little moment where there's no kids and people climbing all over it and taking pictures. So my timing is just right. And so this wonderful work of art is actually called Large Green Chair. And it references an inner city youth program called the Green Chair Project, where kids after school could get together as part of this program and build normal size green Adirondack chairs. And if this chair looks big to you, it certainly is. And it weighs 2,500 pounds. <laughs> It is a monster. This is not the original large green chair. The original was built in 1995 and stood in front of the Walker Art Center to be enjoyed by many. And then it was moved over to this location, High Bridge Park, to draw some attention to this little area. Well, the weather kind of tore it up a little bit. It got tattered and weathered and <laughs> not so nice anymore. So it was replaced with this one which was erected in 2002. And now here it sits as a as a quite little neat attraction as you drive across the bridge. It's it's pretty hard to miss. But not everybody in the Twin Cities knows about this little item. It is sort of hidden away in this park here with all of the other things going on it's easy to kind of forget about it and so I wanted to show you guys a little gem here in the the St. Paul area that uh, that isn't covered so much these days and so there it is you guys the large green chair <laughs> and one thing that I love is every adventure I go on I seem to run into something just that I didn't expect. Something that makes it all worthwhile. And look at this cute little thing right here. It's a goldie gopher holding a toothbrush. <laughs> I don't think that's a dental office. It might be a business of some sort, but <laughs> that is just <laughs> so cool. I just had to show you guys. And as you guys know, I always like to end my adventures on some type of a water feature. And you don't get much of a bigger water feature than the mighty Mississippi. We are on the other side of the river than where we just were. We came across this bridge to this spot. The green chair is right 
about in the center of the screen there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, it's kind of far away. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful view of downtown St. Paul, right as the sun is about to set. It doesn't get any more picturesque than that. And if you guys liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. And thank you guys so much for the support that you've given me here so far. And just look at that view. Isn't that something? Until next time, you guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to catch you on the flip side. Thank you.